Let's review Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much. I went into this movie to try and relax a bit, and it turned out to be a two and a half hour anxiety attack acid trip tragedy, so that was fun. Austin Butler is, and I know no one said this yet, absolutely electrifying. I would have watched him for two and a half more hours. He is Elvis. He acted his full heart out. It was so intense, it was making me exhausted just sitting there watching it. I never even closely sang like Elvis, obviously, but I know what it's like to be on stages all the time, singing under the lights, and it's so fucking hot, so seeing him sweat and strain that much, even if fake, on top of moving around like a maniac, enthralled and pained me. Tom Hanks is weird, Honestly, I get that he's supposed to play a weird guy, but his accent was interesting and annoying at the same time. Tom Hanks doing any accent sounds like Tom Hanks doing an accent. You can always still hear the Tom Hanks under there. This movie is not enjoyable to watch, honestly. Part of it may be the panic attack I was already having at the time, but it was moving so fast with so much anxiety and tragedy attached to it that I felt like you were having a bad trip. But I was obsessed with the music in this movie, obviously. The selections, the mashups, the throwbacks, I loved all of it. Baz Luhrmann made a two and a half hour movie feel deep but shallow, short but long, calm but intense, so we'll just call it an experience for now and say three and a half out of five stars.